Okay, so today, uh, with the thread pool basically done, I ran it a whole bunch, 1.2 million times. Uh, so from last time, that's as good as it's going to get. If it can survive one, one just over a million runs, like that's good enough for me. <clears throat> so today I'm going to focus on uh, an issue that I've figured out when I was uh, running it just earlier, just before, where if uh, I'm running this and I have validation, I notice that like uh, moving this around isn't bad, but if I modify it, then I run into issues where I'm destroying image views before they're before uh, they've been finished being used. So that kind of comes back to I need to figure out, mm, okay, whose is this? So, first part, uh, da, 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 graphics, debug, callback. Let's see, is this an error? Validation error. There we are. Uh, I don't even have it in debug mode either, I guess. Let's close that up. Let's close that up. Okay. Yeah, I need to rebuild for that. Code coverage? Nope. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Rebuild as quickly as possible. Hmm. And here we go. This will give me some knowledge as to where it's coming from. So we got that, we got the from, it's from the swap chain. Interesting. Interesting. I can't, hmm. Yeah, okay. So, <clears throat> the problem being is that while destruction of swap chain is delayed by the implementation in the back, you know, when it actually finishes with them, image view is not. Image view is being destroyed right away, and I cannot. I just can't. I cannot. I have to delay destruction of the image views until after this somehow. And I'm not entirely sure how. Because I am using the image views. Function views, image views. <clears throat> I must be somewhere inside of here. Yeah, right there. When I'm creating frame buffers. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, and, and this destruction is happening where? So it's happening here. I needed to destroy it. Why? If the old swap chain exists, we need to destroy it. Mm -hmm. Can I swap chain? Is it, what kind of type is it? Can, is it copyable? Can I find where it came from, please? I don't even know where it's from. Graphics, swap chain, here we go. It is probably copyable. Hmm. It must, okay.
Because, yeah, I would then, yeah. <clears throat> hmm. I'm thinking of, I have to have delayed destruction system. So what I want to do is I want to wait to delay a few images from there, basically. Delay destructor. How, how, this takes in what? Okay. Now on the decay side, nothing else? So this is assuming that you have delay destructor stuff. Okay, this is assuming that you have like an internal ability to use it. So <clears throat> that's probably going to be how I'm going to have to work with it. Is it I'm just going to have to put it on the delay, put it for delayed destruction. That's going to have to be it. And I'm going to have to move swap chain out of here and down to graphics VK. What else does this depend on? Does it depend on a surface? You get the surface from outside. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. These are all, this is all very Vulcan specific as it is. So maybe I need to. It's just there in an application. Okay. So that's going to be the first thing. I'm going to be changing this at DK swap chain. That and that. And then that. And then this is going down to here. And then move that down to here. Swap chain is going to be including the new location. It's also going to be, instead of that, it's going to be, oh, DK swap chain. Blam. Okay. <clears throat> Remove this. I'm sure there'll be something else going on in here. Vulcan graphics export. That's the same. We have a vector for these. We need to add swap chain here. And down in here somewhere, we're going to have to have. DK swap chain. Build that up. Okay, we got these things moved around. Mm -hmm. Three names. We'll just do that in one. Um, Okay, that's one part. 
All right. Now I want to kind of Do I want to change this to be delayed destructed here or through another mechanism? Because did I not have another way of doing this stuff, I think? In the main application. The answer is no. Nope. Okay. Do I want to do that? I don't know if I really want to tie it into the delayed destructor right now. I'm really like... I know I've already done a couple of other items that tie into it. Render target, basically being the only one actually. And then, yeah, it's just creating it. But do I want to tie even more into it? Like, How do I use it for render target? Uh, on the creation of it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm just I am just going to use it. Uh so we're gonna have destroy, we're gonna also take in Delay Destructor. For the moment, let's first of all make sure that this is actually going to work. Does the theory hold up to actual practice? Typically it doesn't, not on the first try, but sometimes. Sometimes. We got that, that's great. So what's going to happen is that's going to clear, that's going to clear. Um,
blue delay destructor. Uh, here. Null handle if, okay, if if not if uh, that handle is not provided, then it is destroyed immediately. Otherwise, it uh, goes to this. If we have that, do we have that? I don't know if I want to convert it here or convert it in there. It'd be probably smarter to convert it in there. So we need another function. More something like this. That's over here, right? Something like that. I'm going to be passing that in directly, and we're going to have that, and we're going to. I don't know how long it'll be delayed. What's the render target? Okay, if it's if we just give that, then we can probably figure out like the the maximum, uh, the current maximum in this. Mm, I think. Yeah. Okay. So that's that'll be maximal. Uh, by default, if it's this, then that means it'll be whatever the size will be. So I need to, first of all, grab the pointer of the object, convert it. Then I need to find, I basically need to call this one. Need that. With the function. And I need P delayed destructor with the, the size of that. And I need it to be separate as well, actually, to make it so I don't run into issues with data races, wouldn't I? Mm. 
What about volatile? It doesn't really matter too much. I need to add a starting delay. So we go back to here, starting delay, do, 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 do. That many. And we will have again, yeah, the the atomic. Prevent data races. Work. Does it care about data races? I mean, that could just that's basically ninety percent a reader only thing. So if I do. Volatile type qualifier, uh, qualifier. Uh, mutable sub object. Very every access read or write member function call made through given value. Visible side effect. Treat it as a visible side effect for the purposes of optimization. Mm, that doesn't really do what I want. So I need that. I need graph fix session. I need to set dot that equals starting delay we'll go back to swap chain it'll be basically be delay destructor we'll have a function which is I'm just going to do in a moment views equals Um, something M views that not yet anyways that clear the images swap chain equals that okay we got this okay so it's not that anymore it's going to be current delay the set delay more like You know, current delay does make a bit more sense.
gonna so chain destroy. We have graphics delayed destructor right there. Okay. Do the same thing here. Set it for I don't know what's max. Um, Actually, yeah, so for that one, actually, we want to, this one, we can just destroy it all right away. There's a faux graphics max frame buffer. added it here it goes to here and then I did not add it here perhaps or a oh, different name hmm. should be VK though it is Vulcan specific still Delay destructor. Uh, when I change it around here, um, set it as early as possible. Anything else that's about to hit this loop loop area is gonna get it as soon as possible. There. Um. Okay. Same thing, right? Destroying frame buffers. <sighs> okay, okay. So, not really there yet, still. But is that it? Is it just frame buffers? So it is resetting back to before that. It was it would have been frame buffers and image views.
No, it's just image views. And then if I get rid of the image view problem, then it goes, then it swaps back to <sighs> frame buffers instead. Which are tied in somehow, right? Or it was just crapping out on image views because that was the first in the chain. And then it never got to the frame buffers until after. Oh God. Okay. Um, putting delay destruction inside of the swap chain is obviously too low a level. I need to open that up to something somewhere else. I need a more general delay destruction uh, system instead. Evidently. I need like a more very far more general Delay destruction mechanism that just passes instead of passing like VK device and VK or VMA allocator. I just need one that takes top level, change all the low level things to be immediately destroyed, like in here, and instead, one, two, three, four. Hmm. Move it up. It becomes just a generic faux graphics, takes in a faux graphics session. Destruction is done at a higher level. Lower levels just are always immediately destruct are immediate destructions instead. Or as much as possible. Simplify those. Put this at a higher level of abstraction. Okay. That's what I'm going to do after I grab a drink. Because I just spent half an hour on this. And basically came to the realization. Well, you know, the path I'm going down. It's not going to work. So, drink. Bit of a pace for a thought. And I'll BRB. Okay. So, uh, let's go to the that. We're going to swap these back to nothing. Amazing, fantastic stuff. And then what we're going to do is... Don't want to remake. Not really, no. So I need to... I need like a second delay destructor. Or... Hmm... I still, okay, I should have actually kept that. Um, initial delay, delay. I still need this, though. Mm -hmm. So I'll put this in to here before I go around and uh, start moving things around. Delay. It's times that. Okay. Current delay. Oh, 
running. I want to sh schedule. Here we go. <clears throat> Now, this is only for increasing. I may want to have the ability to decrease the size. I mean, really, this, the, the size of the lists, the number of lists, isn't really the interesting thing, is it? And if you accidentally put, like, a million, that's kind of on you for having bad input. Is how I'm going to justify it. So, we got that, we got that, we got that. I need to... It'll be somewhere in the uh, application that right there. Got the set. Got its max buffer frames. And then I'm going to change it to. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to add a new call. You know what? I'll just leave it like that right now. You know what? No, just cancel. Cancel this. Start new, number two. Okay, great. Delay destruct two, which is going to basically almost use the exact same thing as this. But what matters is that down here. Destructor, okay. I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna paste it here. Delete destruct two, two, and two, and two. And we're also gonna have two and two. And two, great. Destructor two. So if this is the case, then I don't really want It would be very similar to the old one. Very, very similar. Almost practically the same, except we're not going to have Vulcan specific. We're going to have to have a new type. So we'll cancel that. Or no. I mean, I can't, no, there's no actual reason to have this as a header, realistically. It's just going to be self-contained by itself. Right here. So we're going to have... equals a standard function void which takes in a graphics session type like that
functional. Mm -hmm. That's the type we're going to be running around with. We're going to basically have the same as this. Implementation. We need vector atomic uh, not that that's for the entire length of this will be like that yes need standard atomic Unit. current delay this will be moved to the this that does exist thank you it should exist right there because what's going to happen is that this function is going to be here instead. We've got that, we've got that, we've got that. We've got this one for a delayed it's going to be that, it's going to be delayed Do, do. You guys see this? It's going to be this. It's going to be that. That. It's going to be this, and it's going to be this. Mhm. Mm Okay. Uh, A, B, C, D. We do have the graphics log. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. Let's get all that. Creating the delayed destructor. We're not doing that, but it will just be session goes in the session. Mm -hmm. uh, dot current delay equals initial delay. This type, yes, and yes, and this many copies, please. We need to set that. Current list equals the begin, yes. Return. Oh, I need that. Turns into this from this. Empty error code, no problems. There's, I mean, it can fail to allocate, uh, but I don't really know how to cache that. I don't really feel like catching that. If if you run out of memory, you got way bigger problems. It'll fail ungracefully. I'm sorry. So, let's try. 
Yeah, okay, destroying these things. So we got that. Delay destructor. P delay destructor. Do, 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 do. I'm going to call by giving it the session. Mm -hmm. Running. Same deal. Gonna have adding one using the default value and then one with the delayed one. Okay, so this is the first this is the second one. It's just going to be basically calling this delayed destructor with a little bit of the function, and then we got the Going to be converting it first here, which basically compiles down to nothing because it's just going to be looking at you know uh, p delete destructor at an offset of wherever this pointed to, which is that. And we kind of need to do the same thing here. Because we're using the top level session type, that means this can basically be used across all implementations. Which so yes, I can actually keep it in the generic area up here. It just requires a little bit more indirection. Would it? Mm. It'll point to the session, and it's only pointing to the offs. Oh yeah, okay, no, but it'd be going into the sub function and then doing the offsets. So that really would be free. I mean, instead of doing the the uh, offset here, I'd be doing the offset down there. So, mm, yeah, it really should be basically the same. I can work, I can live with that. I'm going to regret it probably a couple of months down the line, but I can live with it for now. So let's get this one a go and. Uh, <laughs> so what's going on with you? Yeah, I got rid of you, didn't I? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. That's all that's exported. Great. Okay, so I've got a couple of, what was it? I had it one location. I need that type specifically. 
there's a render target. How did this work? How did how did this use it? Realistically, create render target. Okay, that's great. Uh, delayed destructor goes into p delayed destructor. So we do that. In no 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 render target here. We do that. Let's get the specific type. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to actually uh, uh, convert these over now. Or at least this. So delay destructor two. No, it won't actually be even taking that. It'll be. It's just going to be a handle. That can still remain that for whatever. Um. <laughs> that anymore without that uh, delay destructor equals that then down here instead of doing this it's delay destructor okay great can I forward declare that Handle type. Incomplete type, file graphics delayed destructor to. Hmm. Uh, okay. going to be const throughout the use of this as well so that's great two arguments three were provided yes yes and yes From handled session. So it becomes this device, this allocator. Now I can live with that. Do the same thing about here. Not quite.
the application needs to change over to the new one. Number two. Graphics delete destructor two. We no longer have that specific one as a generic type instead. Oh, sorry, that is still that. Delayed destructor, which provides this. Okay, what's going on? Hmm. Okay, realistically, this should also be the second item instead. Like that. I just needed to make, just needed to work the same as before. Don't crash, and only have the frame buffers be the things that are, that are crapping out here. That is worse. Okay, that's something else. Suboptimal. Okay, that makes sense. Or BK res equals I can live with the suboptimal. Or out of date. because uh, next time through I'll fix it up, I hope. Back to image views, right. Right, because, yeah, okay. Well, I gotta redo that, but this didn't break, so I'm happy with that. That's the only thing, right? Nothing else. Oh, I, I did, I, I stopped it by the debugger. I need to actually stop it from this. Um, good. So now we trash out the old, the Vulcan specific one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I can find it, yes, yes. Yeah, that's it for here. a little bit more up here I can change this so we can get rid of all the destructor twos maybe become that get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that
Is this all this is all static, isn't it? I believe all these are statics. Uh, yeah, okay. The build task. Yeah. Always build shared. So that's the more tricky of the two, if possible. And the one that will have the most uh, problems in the end, if you don't deal with it. It's much easier to go from dynamic to static than static to dynamic. Hmm, that's pretty fast. I like. I like. Hmm. Why is it 40.4 milliseconds instead of 0.3? I didn't really add much of anything. Um... Maybe it's just a momentary thing. I don't know. We're about to find out. No, it's the same thing. So it's just the uh, imagination. Trash that. Changing. Uh, no, 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 no. Sorry, why are all these... Okay, you should be getting it from that instead. Ugh, whatever, just tap it there anyways. Actually, no. One less set of disk access during compilation. Okay, let's put this in. This, 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 and this. See what these are. And then we move on to redoing the swap chain stuff. Functional, because we've got that up here instead. We've got system error still. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, am I actually using this for anything? I'm... Nope. And nope. I can actually trash these. I'll do that next. Target, delayed destructor, okay. Change the abstraction scope of uh, delayed destruction. The at the what? Station back end. Also means that the ability to to be generally accessible with the Okay, so that's an hour of my life gone for that. And now I've got to uh, the swap chain stuff. Okay. Uh, or rather, in a half hour. Actually, I'm going to pause for a quick break. BRB. Salt chain, salt chain rebuild, salt chain destruction. Okay. So what do, what do I want to do for this exactly? Swap chain image views. Destroying the old one. Where, okay. Where do I destroy this? This is fine. Deleting this is fine. This is the one I have to care about, right? If swap chain, destroy the old swap chain. After I go through and create a new one. Where's it? Mm, here. Hmm. 
So what I want to do here is if swap chain, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy. Equal swap chain. And then I'm going to say something along the lines of what? What am I going to say? Delayed add, delayed destruction call. No, we're not going to be doing this. It's going to be graphics delayed destruction destructor. We're going to have uh, something that takes equal. It's going to take oh, graphics. That takes in the session. The call. And then it's going to use the default delay that's going on right now. It's going to do swap chain copy dot destroy that. const it's not marked const mm -hmm. is this like literally this I'm getting screwed over by C++'s classness. I'm going to turn into a commie now. Advocating for the destruction of the classes. Okay, that will work. Maybe. Okay, then it's back to the frame buffers. Nice. Or nicer. Now, this was okay, destroy frame buffer. So we've got the one on this rebuild and then the one at the end. So I don't care about this one, but I do care about this one. So what's happening is that this is happening after like the swap chain destruction, which is happening up here, right? way up here so here okay so yeah this is a bit of a pro this is a bit of a problem because i'm trying to this is going to be before the, the destruction of so i'm destroying these things and that's i set this to be delayed destroyed one after uh one more on top so maybe okay you know what run it test it see what happens I'm going to bet, but I really shouldn't uh, do that quite yet.
Do I want to move it, or am I just going to place back? Uh, hmm. Either way, I could just okay. I could just do a single allocation, and then mm -hmm, a copy. go roll right through that I'll be doing this session like that it's gonna be from based on that oh, there it is and <gasps> Yeah! Yeah! It did actually resolve the issue. Nice! Obviously, that's literally as fast as I can produce frames, whether it's that or full frame like that. Or, actually, put that on the side and do two 4K screens, then I start losing frame rate. At two 4K screens. But... Otherwise, so, hmm. Nice. Uh, Vulcan. being deleted before and associated views and frame buffers that up and then I'm gonna find my laptop with the garbage IGP and make sure it works on that as well while it's also running through the CI actually that's that's uh, something I could probably can I actually speed it up if I get rid of the uh, validation and it's in debug mode isn't it Ooh. Oh, how quick. So that's why it was probably slower than I was. Hmm. No, because I've really usually run in debug. So 0.3 milliseconds is about the average I've been having for the past couple of weeks. As I've been pissing around with this drudgery. But. this out re 
really I can really crank it down still okay so it is still almost effectively GPU limited so do that can I expand it to the other screen not quite let's do it to the side and then expand it that way whoop yeah, so that is the GPU limit there for two 4K screens. So that's fine. It's probably pixel fill rate being the issue there. But if you really, really squish it down. Yeah, I can get it real good. So yeah, yeah. Still an acceptable level of performance for this stage. Which is still basically nothing, I know. Okay. The laptop done. Okay, it's done. It's in that mode, so back up. And then for settings, make sure false, 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 false. Perfect. For engine, do that. Ooh. 120 FPS on the 8250U. Hmm. Is it? Oh, it's fill rate limited. I see. I get a really tiny window. It's got one and a half milliseconds per frame. If I do the full 1080p screen, it's about nine, ten milliseconds a frame. Just for fill rate? Are you kidding me? Or hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, it settles down to about a 120 FPS, 8.3 milliseconds a frame. <sighs> oh, but I also have MSAA at full blast, don't I? That could actually be a thing. Oh, I also have that on the uh, main computer too. I know this is very boring to listen to while I do this, but uh, too bad. MSAA. VK samples one bit. Do that. So I got about 120 FPS or 8.3 milliseconds on that. If I go to MSAA on here, change that up for this as well. See, that was, then we get a much higher frame rate. Here we go. Yeah, 2 and 2.5, 2.3, 2 2.5 milliseconds of uh, a frame. So about 430 milli, uh, frames a second on full screen on with one count bit with no MSAA, basically. And do I have issues from resizing? Nope, not anymore on the laptop. So that's good. And here, that's actually probably something I want to start doing is recording, doing a, some kind of frame rate test CI, but I don't really have any systems to spare with graphics cards that can run it. I sold most of them for exorbitant prices on the market, which is unfortunate. I mean, it's fortunate I got a crap ton of money to make this a bit easier, but uh, double 4K, about half. <clears throat> For MSAA, so that must be some good acceleration on the card. Okay, I am happy, happy, happy with this. Set that back. Uh, did it not close properly. Hold on. It's not like I have it on XR. I have XR turned off. Okay, no. Good, 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 good. All right. I'll call it a session with that. A short session. All right, cheers.